Welcome to Jurassic World, or, well, what's left of it. This once famous amusement park is now facing disaster, with dinosaurs on the loose and a dangerous virus spreading throughout the island. But fear not, I will put an end to this madness. In order to restore the island to its former glory, I must defeat all three Jurassic Park bosses, take down all three of the formidable King Titan's warriors, and ultimately face the king himself. Hold on to your dodo, cause this thing is about to get rowdy. Day one, I spawned in the middle of the ruined amusement park once known as Jurassic World. It's a shame this place was destroyed. I started off by doing the usual arc shenanigans, which ended up with me crafting a stone pickaxe. I then used that stone pickaxe to get the materials to graft a stone hatchet. I also made a spear while I was at it. Then I made a campfire. I was a bit hot, so I made it worse for myself and covered my very muscular body. Then my haircut arrived and so did Hirochi. Now, I needed hide, so I saw a dodo and threw my spear at its face. It died, of course, but it said it was mate boosted, which means there was another around. When I found the other dodo, I 360 no scoped it with my spear like the pro gamer I am. Then I found crystal and harvested a few, so when I'm high enough level to craft a spyglass, I'll be able to afford it. Since I was dying of thirst, I tried to find water. When I did, I took a drink, and what I found was pretty interesting. The fish by the stream were trying to learn how to breathe air and probably trying to evolve. Most of them were succeeding, except for this one. He died. After that, I made a spyglass. Then I found the corpse of a defense unit, so I harvested it. Then I saw another one that was just killed by a megatherium. So I went to harvest it, but turns out the megatherium was high on bugs, so he killed me. On the way back home, I made Ebola. When I got back, I made a storage box to hold all the junk I don't need. On day two, I started crafting some narcotics. Then I made a bow and 40 arrows. I also made a slingshot. Then I spent the rest of day two knocking out this level 174 parasaur. On day three, the Parasaur finally tamed up, so I named him Paradise. I gave him a saddle and rode him home. When I got home, I made a full set of hide armor. Somewhere along day three, a random Rex just appeared right outside my door. Well, figuratively, a door, that is, but you know what I mean. Oh, what in the jeebles, bro? Where did you come from? Anyways, I led the Rex over to some Stegos. It ended up killing the first Stego, but it got interested in a tech Stego that was level 201. That tech stego was already being attacked by a defense unit, so the battle started with the rex and the defense unit attacking the stego. Eventually, the defense unit changed sides and started attacking the rex, so I helped out by shooting the rex. I eventually killed the rex and realized the tech stego was very low on health, like 20 health or something like that. So I helped kill the defense unit. I will try to come back one day and tame this lovely robot beast. I noticed on day 4 that I had gotten 12 levels from that fiasco that occurred on day 3. When I got back to base, I replaced the thatch foundation with wood and added three more wood foundations, so now it's a 2x2. Two two. While I was minding my own business, a pteranodon rudely walked in my face. I was going to kill it, but turns out it was a good level and it had pretty good stats, so I knocked it out and tamed it. I'm not high enough level for his saddle, so I put him in a soul ball. I named him Dimitri, by the way. Then I placed down a forge and started smelting metal. Then I made a smithy and crafted my first metal pickaxe. I eventually made a metal hatchet as well. Near the end of the day, I had finally crafted two crossbows, one for normal arrows and the other for trank arrows. I wanted to tame a carnivore of some sort besides the pteranodon I already tamed, so on day five, I went out and searched for something interesting. Before I left, I placed a bed in case I died. I didn't find a carnivore that I wanted, but I did tame an otter. I named him Winston. And even though I ended up not getting anything besides an otter, I was high enough level to craft a pteranodon saddle. So now that I can fly around on Dimitri, this should make finding a creature just a little bit easier. I started off day 6 by crafting myself a water jar, so I won't be dying of thirst out in the wasteland. So with that being said, I went to the sky to find something to tame. A tame worthy of protecting me.
Are you ready to unlock an all-access pass to the internet while shrouding yourself in a cloak of digital security? Say hello to Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video. This isn't just about web browsing, it's about web exploring minus the risks. Surfshark envelops your data in an encrypted security blanket, turning curious eyes into mere bystanders. No more feeling exposed to corporations or cyber felons. Picture this, a streaming show you've been dying to watch, but it's geolocked? A game release that feels ages away because it's rolling out in a distant time zone first? Fret not. Surfshark morphs your IP address, opening up a world of blocked websites, myriad Netflix libraries, and early access to games. But the goodness doesn't stop there. Picture public Wi-Fi, a hacker's dream buffet. Surfshark turns it into a fortified fortress, your data encrypted and secure. Its clean web feature acts as your digital bodyguard against ads, trackers, malware, and phishing. Plus, it's your trusty shield against DDoS attacks, always keeping your true IP under wraps. Ready for the best part? Surfshark lets you spread the security across unlimited devices from one account. With my code RAXRITE, enjoy an extra 3-month free ride along with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? The link is in the description below. Enjoy the surf with Surfshark. I found a decent level Velanosaur to start trying to knock out, but it ended up running away into a bunch of dangerous things. While it ran away, a scorpion started to attack me, then a thorny dragon, and then a carno. I managed to run up a hill and jebate the carno off the hill, and while I was safe, I quickly pulled out Dimitri and put Paradise in his soul ball. It looks like I'm not taming that Velanosaur after all. By the morning of day 7, I had actually realized that the Velanosaur I had already tried to knock out was where I had originally found it. So maybe I will be taming this Velanosaur. Turns out the Velanosaur has hacks on, because this cheater shot and killed me through a rock. Bro, you can't shoot through a rock like that! That's so bogus! Okay, the Velanosaur is obviously hacking. That's nice. Love to see it. So I came back on Dimitri and continued shooting Trank Arrows at the obviously hacking Velanosaur. When I knocked him out and put food in his inventory, I immediately took to the sky. This way, he can be knocked out without any worries of any creature attacking him while he is taming up. When he tamed up, I just flew back down and put him in a soul ball. When I got home, I named the Velanosaur Vengeance. On day 8, I made a saddle for Vengeance. And well, he's very exciting. I honestly missed having a Velanosaur. And now I have a formidable mount, so I went on a little bit of a killing spree. On day 9, I went out to the wasteland with Vengeance to see what I could experience. By the morning of day 10, I had finally made it back home, and while I didn't find anything super interesting, I didn't die either, so that's good I suppose. Next things I want to tame, however, is a Thyla, because I saw one of those in the wasteland, and a Megatherium. Either one of those might be a very good part of our current team. With that being said, I spent the rest of day 10 looking for a place to build my permanent home. And while Live Me is flying through the sanctuary looking for a place to call home, let me explain why there aren't many Jurassic Park dinos left. Well, you know the virus I mentioned? Well, that virus is called the Arc Virus, and what it does is attempt
attempt to turn Jurassic Park dinos into Ark dinos. And the side effects is that if it fails to do so, the Jurassic Park dino gets corrupted, turning it into a corrupted Ark dino. This is why there are so many Ark dinos and very little Jurassic Park dinos. Because Ark dinos are immune to the Ark virus. And with more Jurassic Park dinos facing extinction, it's hard for them to repopulate and keep up. Only the strong or lucky Jurassic Park dinos have survived past extinction, but they struggle to this day. And I don't even know if defeating the King Titan will fix any of this, but I have to try. Well, I know where to live, and I have an idea for a house. But one thing is stopping me, my Pteranodon. So on day 11, I went out and tamed an Argentavis. Hey, 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 get back down here, you rascal, you. That's fine, that's fine, don't worry about it. I said it's fine. Is it terminal? Whoa. Whoa, no, no, no. Ugh. Don't you run away from me. Hey, 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 get back here. Go back over to the, the nice iron thing. It's safe there. Yes, yes, keep going, keep going. Yes, good bird. No bad bird, turn around. Bad bird, turn around. Ooh. Oh, that works. We're good, we're good, don't worry about it. I have prime meat, right? I sure do. Now tame up birdie. Then I gave it its saddle and started working on my house. On days 12 to days 20, I built my house. So enjoy the montage. Well, the building is done, it is now day 20, and well, it actually looks pretty good. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't think it would look this good, and uh, building it kind of was a bit of a challenge. I originally wanted this roof to arc up, just like on the sides, but you can't really do that in arc, so I just went with the next best thing. It has a front porch, a small back porch, a bigger high porch, but you know, nothing too fancy. And then same with the front, just uh, another porch. And it's quite roomy in here, and it doesn't seem in closed because I've got just a few windows and we've got plenty of space down here and this is almost kind of like a basement even though it's not really underground but it kind of kind of reminds me of a basement and we've got two staircases just in case I want to go over here or if I want to go over there and well I'd say this is probably one of the best houses I've built in a long time on day 21 I started moving things from the old base to the new base and after I did that I made myself a full set of flak armor I then spent the rest of day 21 flying around looking for something to tame. And on day 22, I managed to knock out a level 201 Tech Rex. And while I'm not sure if I'll be using it for any boss fights, as I plan on taming a few Jurassic Park Rexes and maybe even some Indominus Rexes, it'll definitely be good at defending me. And when it tamed up, I named her Athena. On day 23, I gave a saddle to Athena and then went out to the wasteland. To start off, she was doing 321 damage, so pretty, pretty good. On day 24, I went to the Winter Dome to go kill some penguins for their organic polymer. And when I got back home, I made a soul gun and some more soul balls. Then on day 25, I went back to the Winter Dome to tame a snow owl. After I tamed him up, I quickly put him in a soul ball and went home. When I got home, I named the snow owl Torpedo and gave him a saddle. Then I tamed a level 156 Triceratops. I named her Sarah in honor of Sarah from The Land Before Time. Really good show, by the way. Highly recommend. On day 26, I gave Sarah a saddle and started to gather a bunch of narco berries. After a while of killing bushes, I ended up with 22,182 narco berries. After that, I made two soul terminals. And like usual, one is for holding tames I don't intend on destroying, while the other is for capturing newborn babies. On day 27, I made an in-gen fabrication station. Well, that rhymes, so it's cool. And well, I couldn't really do anything with it as of right now, but I'm sure it'll come in handy later. On day 28, I gathered the resources to make a Jurassic Park Trank rifle, and of course I made some darts for it as well. Later in the day, I made 20 wall torches to light up my house. This is so evil looking. 
On day 29, I made the hunting crossbow and the scope to go with it. And, well, it takes metal arrows, and I don't have those yet. I could probably make them soon, I just don't have them as of right now, so I'll come back to this. On day 30, I made a fabricator and then a generator and got everything ready for when I start breeding rexes or indominus rexes. Probably indominus rexes, but who knows. On day 31, my search for a Jurassic Park rex or an indominus rex began. And well, I found a level 174 Jurassic Park Rex, but its stats were awful, so that's nice. And man, did I have a nasty fight with these two corrupted wyverns. While I was healing up Athena, an enraged corrupted Rex snuck up on us. Or whatever it's called. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're fine. Luckily, the idiot doesn't know how to fight, so we managed to kill it pretty easily. Bro can't even hit us. You suck at your job, man. Wow. That doesn't make sense. He gave us raw meat? He was a tech dino. Okay. On day 32, I came across a level 174 Indominus Rex. Let's go. And well, her melee was really bad, but her health was really good. So I knocked her out, put some food in her inventory, and immediately flew to the sky. Then when she tamed up, I went down to meet her. Then I put her in a soul ball and went to base. When I got back to base, I made a saddle for her and named her Domino. And even with really low melee, she's doing over 700 damage to start. That's crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a cage and fed me nothing but bagels. Bagels? I like bagels. Bagels are round. Shut up. And she even has 23,000 health. Literally insane. Now I just need to find a male indom with high melee, and then we're set. Bro, not to mention, her damage per second is insane, and she even does bleed. Indom's OP. No wonder they're not extinct. So on day 33, I spent some time out in the wasteland. And well, I'd say it was pretty successful. On day 34, I found a male with decent melee, so I knocked him out and tamed him. On day 35, when I arrived home, I had both of my indoms breed so I could get an imprinted baby. And, well, it's taking forever to incubate. On day 36, I continued waiting for the egg to incubate. And, well, it only took all of day 36 for the stupid thing to incubate, but that's fine. So on day 37, I hatched the little gremlin and named her Stella. And while she was growing up, I went down to the sanctuary below to kill stuff with Domino. And at the end of the day when I got back, Stella was gone.
I forgot to put food in her inventory. You idiot. So on day 38, I repeated the process of breeding the indoms and letting the egg incubate. So on day 39, I hatched the indom once again. Okay, and this is gonna be really funny, I hope. Apparently, Stella didn't die. She just ran off. And I don't know how I didn't see her, but Stella is not dead. I thought you died, so that's cool. Oh, that's awkward. How did I not see you? So I imprinted her and let her finish growing up. On day 40, Stella was finally fully grown, so I took the saddle from Domino and placed it upon Stella. Then I flew on over to the wasteland, and well, she's crazy. Right off the bat, she's already doing nearly 1600 damage. So I had some more fun killing corrupted apex dinos, as in like the really big... I went to where there's a lot of corrupted wyverns, gigas, and rexes, okay? All of day 41 was spent healing up Stella because, well, she had a lot of health to gain. So that's where day 41 went. And on day 42, I fought off an orbital supply drop and I got some mm, decent loot, I suppose. On day 43, I did an epic 360 no scope on a scorpion and then I fought off another orbital supply drop. By the time I had finished defending the orbital supply drop, it was day 44. And well, I got some more garbage, besides a few things like a better helmet. Then on day 45, I defended this element node thing and, well, it was pretty boring, so I'll spare you the boring footage. On day 46, after I had successfully defended the element node, I went and harvested all the element that I would probably never use. Nah, just kidding, because when I logged back in, everything vanished, but like, you know, it's fine, I probably wasn't gonna use it anyways. So instead, I started breeding indoms, and then I went to the cave to get an artifact of the void, and when I got to the terminal, I thought to myself, maybe Stella can defeat the titan. So I was like, yeah, what the heck, why not? So I pulled out a male indom for mate boost, and well, we summoned the ice titan, and uh, it was pretty easy, so I guess this confirms that Stella is indeed a beast. Let's get it, bro. Come on. Oh, what? We do so much damage. Get it, bro. Come on. Man, don't make me do this by myself. Yeah, bro. That's what's up. Get him. Oh, this is too easy. Yeah, bro. That's what's up. You bite his ankles. He can't even touch me, dog. Oh, he's gonna touch me, dog. Okay, he touching me, dog. Ow. Oh. Owie. Ooh. Owie. Yeah, get his ankles over there, bro. Yeah, get his ankles. Come on. Finish him off. Come on. <gasps> Winston! Oh. Oh, we're good. Yo, what's up, bro? We did it. What's wrong with my gun? weird why is that my view why can't i go in first person uh maybe because i've frozen or something that's crazy okay so did we get what we needed to get oh 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 oh, oh okay uh nice oh uh, take you rail gun that sounds cool. Okay, so you gave me stuff for a mech, but you didn't even give me a mech. So with this knowledge, I went to fight the forest titan on day 47. This time I was bringing a better male indom with me, but that male ended up not having much health left. So wait, he's like barely healed. When I got to the arena or the upstairs, I guess, I swapped him out quickly and then I got dismounted, died. That was cool. Came back, titan felt bad, and then I got my 
uh, back on Stella or something, and so we'll continue the fight, you know, that's fine. Kill the Titan, pretty easy. And so I guess day 48, I went out to kill the Desert Titan. And this did not go as planned. Okay, come on, Stella, let's do this. Wait, Stella, where'd you go? No! All right, let's do this again. Pew, pew. Doing so much damage. All right, come on, Stella. I believe in you. What? What do you mean it can't fit there? That's bogus. That's bogus. Okay, no, don't fall off. Don't fall off. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, Torpedo, come here. I got you, bro. That's fine. It's fine. Never mind. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh! oh, oh. Wait. Wait, no, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, we're good. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so, uh, that's, um, that's a problem. That's a, that's a big problem. So, um, they're gone. Ow. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, so they're gone. And, uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I got another Indominus Rex for protection. No, I don't. But I got you. Stop it. Okay. Um, huh. So, that's not really fair that they can dismount you but on the other side uh at least i'm not dead i guess i don't know i still don't know where they went so uh maybe this geyser will launch me in the air and i'll oh there they are oh hi stella oh you got dropped too it's fine hey birdo torpedo man hey bro oh it's not good wait why am i running underwater that's fine don't worry about it. Uh, Stella? Hi. Uh, so he's still up there. Ow. Stella? Um, Stella? We got a problem. Torpedo's still up there, my guy. Torpedo! No, he ain't coming down. There ain't no way. Oh, he's gonna die. Uh, Torpedo? Come on, buddy. Is he stuck? Wait, is he coming down? No, what, buddy, buddy. What are you doing up there, man? Oh, never mind. He's dead. Oh, there's his corpse. Okay. Wow, guess we gotta do it this way, huh? Marked for lightning. Uh-uh. Okay, so I went back and got airstrike. It's now day 49. That's fine. We'll get zapped. It's okay. So, um, we need Stella up there. Get it, Stella. No. Stella fell. Okay. Well, I'll do that again. Okay. I guess we'll just, like, kill it with airstrike, right? Yeah. That's plausible. Okay, come on, Stella. What do you mean it can't fit up there? I know it can fit up there. What do you mean? Stella! Stella, you gotta, like, not phase through the Titan, okay? Like, bruh. Whoa. I'm being targeted by a flock? Oh, no. Come on, Stella. Fight it. Stella! Stop falling through the Titan. Stella! Uh-oh. Oh, we're good. I'll do an epic dream style uh, clutch. Ready? Yep, we're good. Meant to do that. Um... So airstrike, uh, that's not good. Coming down here? Buddy! Oh, we're doomed. Oh, hi. Oh, the corpse is still there. That's sad. Okay, so he's, he, she's a goner. She's dead. Oh, she's dead. Uh -huh. Oh, there, uh -huh. So we're in a bit of a pickle. Oh, well, there, there, there she goes. Um, okay. Well, that's not cool. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Huh. Well, if only I had, like, a rocket propelled grenade launcher. Can't use a railgun for whatever stupid reason. This is gonna take forever. This is ridiculous. Why would they make a flying creature the boss? That's stupid. I mean, there's literally no other way to get up there, so. Okay, so I just went out and tamed a brand new snarl. It's day 50. This guy is apparently is still here. I was convinced I'd have to respawn him. And I guess I'll just try to uh, not get off a bird. I'll like, you know, do that. That should do it good. And that gets struck by lightning, I think. Oh, three, two, never mind. Bird, bird, bird. No, come here. I need you. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is very not good. Oh, that is very not good. We're fine. So uh, there's an Ankylosaurus up there. Don't know how he got up there. That's fine. Birds coming back. We're good. We're good. Nice. It's all according to plan. Let's go back up there. Snow Owl is basically dead. That's fine. All right, let's try to do this again. Ouch. Wawa. It's fine. It's fine. We need to time this correctly. We'll be good. Three, two, one. Maybe good. I don't know. That was a miss. Okay. Okay, we're good. Uh-oh. Don't touch me. Two, one. Shkablushka. 
That work? I think. Man, I don't know. Possibly. And Galuska, don't don't dismount me. Don't do it. Oh you, oh you bugger. Don't do it. Owl, come on, buddy. Let's get out of here, man. We're both like gonna die. A little bit more you than me, but you know, you are not looking too good, my my friend. Not at all. Let's get in there. Zappity clappity, and we're out of there. How does that do? I don't know. I think it'd do good. How much health are you on? You have 100 health. We're fine. All right. Zappity clappity right on the ear. I mean, wing. Same thing. Zapped. Nice. Okay, we're good. We're doing fine. Three, two. Never mind. He's dead. Uh, Stella. Stella. Stella, no. Stella. Oh, I'm, I'm a goner. I'm a goner. Land in the water. Okay, I landed on the one rock in that river. Nice. Alrighty, I am back, and I had to convince Hirochi to help me out, because there's literally nothing else I can do. But before I do anything, I need to find Stella. I'm coming, Stella. I got you. Okay. Alrighty, Desert Titan. Prepare to meet your maker. You are annoying, and I hope to never have to fight a flying boss ever again. Now, luckily, Hirochi only has to use about, like, 2% of her power, you know? It's, like, just an extra 1% past being a shoulder mount. And she didn't- she really didn't want to do this, but I begged her, like, real bad. And she's really cool, and I haven't seen her in her powerfuler form. So, uh, I say that's a win-win. And if Stella had wings, that Desert Titan would not have stood a chance. So, thank you, Hirochi, and, uh, I guess I'll see you around sometime, because, I mean, you're just going back to his shoulder pad. Alright, uh, thanks, Hirochi. Well, that sure was a doozy, and it's only day 50. Well, now I, all I have to do is defeat some Jurassic Park bosses, and here is Alpha 06, so I guess I'm gonna try to beat him with Stella, see what happens. All right, and he is down. We got a lot of element from that. I was not expecting that much element, but I am okay with it. Same with black pearls. Okay, pretty cool. A lot of basic dinosaur genomes. Okay. So that was a pretty close fight, getting Stella basically half health. All right, there is a death dodo. Now we just need to kill him. Death dodo isn't as strong as Alpha 06, and I should have gone with him first, but I found Alpha 06 first, so it's, it's, all, it's fine. Hey, you good, bro? There we go. Not too challenging whatsoever. Definitely put on less of a fight than Alpha 06. Should have been expected, but it's whatever. Now for the last and final Jurassic Park boss, the Omega Rex. Let's get it. Now, if I remember correctly, the Omega Rex has a roar that can dismount you, so that'll be scary. Let's hope that doesn't happen, right?
A, the Bronto's getting in on it too. That's crazy. We gotta defend the Bronto. Come on. Come on, Bronto. No, Bronto. No, Bronto. No. Guys, comment down below how much of an absolute legend that Bronto was. We avenged him. Ooh, we learned Tech Light. Wow. All right, now after all of those bosses, we have a lot of stuff. All right, now we are making the hybrid creation station. I just want to see if I can make an Ultimasaurus because they're just really cool. Okay, this thing is massive. All right, since we need a lot of genomes that we don't have because most of these dinosaurs are extinct now. Um, yeah, it's not going to do so well. So unfortunately, we are not going to be able to summon the Ultimasaurus to tame. But that's all right. We have the Indominus Rex army right over here. All right. Now that it is day 99, I say we get on the path towards the King Titan to finish this once and for all. Alright, we've made it to the terminal, and it is day 100. Now before we go ahead and summon this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and place all of the indoms that I eh, kind of read. So since, very unfortunately, the Indominus Rex take forever to breed and incubate and even hatch, it took way longer than I wanted it to just to get a few indoms, and none of them are really mutated, they're just, yeah, it, it was very impractical and time wasting but i needed an army and as you, i'm sure you already know indoms are very powerful so i don't think we'll have much of a problem as fighting the king titan but it still took way longer than i wanted it to to breed all these idiots so you know not to mention some of these idiots rebelled even though they're already tamed they rebelled and killed me multiple times I'm sure you saw that and had a whole laugh about it but it was stupid so it was it was a, all a waste of time and i know you're not supposed to like have all of them in one line or whatever because like the king titan does the big old spike things but like i'm just gonna wing it you know at this point i've got nothing else to lose and you know what we'll put athena in here just for good measure all right that should be everything we need now to summon the gamma king titan let's do it all right where are you gonna spawn put everyone on neutral you got a whole hour to do this that's fine get them boys yeah we'll go one wave at a time that works Maybe they'll get stomped and squashed. That'll be funny, right? 1.5 million health? That's crazy. You are loud. Get him, boys. Yeah, bite his ankles. Yeah, go on in there, Athena. Get him. Get them, boys. Oh, they just got annihilated. Okay. My legs is broken. That did a lot of damage. Hey, hey, you idiots. Oh, oh, Athena. Oh, Athena. She's gone. Sorry, Athena. Ooh. Ooh, maybe you guys shouldn't just stand there and take it. Come on, fellas. Get him, guys. Oh, wait, no, he's charging. No, 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 no. Don't push me in there. Stop it. Hey, yo, bro, fight back. Come on, man. Okay, maybe it was not a good idea to have you follow me. Get him, guys. Come on. He's, like, charging up or something, so you'll all die, but that's fine. Come on, fellas. Get him. Bro, stop biting the element thingy. Okay, I'm gonna nibble his tail. Oh, yeah. Doing the damage right here, guys. Look at me nibble his toe, uh, tail. Same difference. They're nibbling his toe over there, for real.
Oh, they just got smited. Oh, they're getting smited like three times. That's not very cool. Get him, fellas. Oh, they just got... Oh, okay. That's... We're fine. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Almost launched me out of the map. That's fine. Um... So, um... Oh, that's not good. Oh, why, why'd you have to turn like a truck, Stella? Okay. How do we get back up there? Oh, we're good. No, we're not. Go this way. Hey, That works. Yo, he's almost out of the arena. Get him, guys. Come on. You got this. Oh, he charging that super punch for real. Yeah, go get punched. Come on, guys. Nibble his toes. Yeah, that's what's up. Nibble his toes. Come on. Drawn back to the center. <laughs> Loser. Guys, get his toes. Don't stand there. Oh, we stood there. Fine. We took him like a champ. Ow. You do not have to defecate right there. Get him, guys. There's like a lot of us left. Come on. Oh, he, they died. Hey, get him. Oh, he charging something. Straight up. Come on, guys. Nibble his toes. Oh, there's floating corpses. Come on, guys. Get in on it. Get in on it. Oh, ignore the Giga. Kill the Giga. I don't care. Just do something. Oh, it's taking like 20 of them to kill a Giga. Get him, guys. Guys, we're almost there. Come on. Stop standing there like a bunch of idiots. Help. What are you guys doing? That's fine. I'll do it myself. What are you doing? Why are you just like coming over to me? Yeah, go go nibble his toes. What do you what do you mean? Go nibble his toes. Oh, that dude just got absolutely just wrecked. Okay. Not cool. Oh, there goes like half of my army, bro. You just launched them out of the arena. That's not nice at all. Okay. I see how it is. Get him, boys. Come on. It's a finishing blow. Get him. Get him, guys. He's bleeding out of his ankles. Because that's where the only place we can bite him. Come on, guys. Like this. Come on. Nibble his toes. Yeah, I'll bite you midair, you stupid idiot. That's what I thought. Easy. Let's go. 100 days over, and I can relax. Just kidding, I have to go edit. Uh, yay. Cool. That was a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Uh, sorry, Athena. Dang, that's sad. Oh, I was gonna teabag him. Artifact. Oh my goodness. What did we get? We got a lot of stuff, but like, I'll take you, you. Uh, I mean, that's about it. Oh, I know. Uh, no. You. Uh, yeah, no, that's about it. But like, why you give, why you give me all this stuff for a, a mech thing? But I ain't got no mech. I gotta make that, don't I? That's dumb. Oh hi. Uh, I guess that's it then. Well, guys, I very much hope you did enjoy this 100 days. If you did, smash that like button, and if you have not already, do consider subscribing because it helps me out a ton. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.